Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video I wanted to share my tips and tricks for teaching yourself to sleep on your back for anti-aging purposes. So I've talked about sleeping on my back in a lot of different videos. I mention it as one of my most successful yet least expensive um, anti-aging strategies. I started sleeping on my back a few years ago when I had been to my dermatologist's office and she mentioned that she could tell which side of my face I slept on at night based on how deep my nasal labial folds were. Apparently one was deeper than the other and that's how she could tell. I had also been noticing that when I woke up in the morning I had an etched in chest wrinkle that was like a big Y from lower down on my chest all the way up to my collarbone. And I think that is a pretty common thing that a lot of us over 50 have, especially if you are a side sleeper. So those were the main reasons that I initially started sleeping on my back. But since I fully switched to sleeping on my back, I've noticed so many other advantages to doing it that are also anti-aging. Uh, I noticed that my hooded eyes became less hooded. I also noticed that I had less puffiness, less dark circles, and smaller eye bags. And it's funny because people, you know, write in comments and ask me all the time, like, why don't you have eye bags? You're 57 years old. I don't get what's going on under your eyes. Tell me, oh guru, what I need to do. And you know what? My answer really is to try to train yourself to sleep on your back. But I know it's hard to do because I have mentioned it in a few videos and I've gotten a lot of feedback that it's very, very difficult. And I have explained it on my blog and also in a Q&A video from about a year ago, but it's hard to find those. So I thought I would just put the information here in one video called sleeping on your back so that you could actually find it and at least attempt to train yourself to sleep on your back. Now I'm not going to tell you that it's easy because it wasn't easy for me to do. It probably took me about three months until I was comfortable with sleeping on my back but I gotta say after that it has been so great and it hasn't just worked for me since I've started talking about it on my YouTube channels. I've gotten so many emails from viewers who say that they switched to sleeping on their back because of me and they noticed the difference. They didn't have the chest wrinkle anymore. A lot of people have written in about their hooded eyes, that they had always hooded eyes, but as they got older the hood started sagging and kind of laying on their eyelashes and they didn't know what to do with it, but then switched to sleeping on their back and now their eyelids just don't lay on their eyelashes like they used to. And then recently I got an email from another viewer who had to have open heart surgery and so that forced her to to have to sleep on her back as well and she had always struggled with under eye bags and under eye darkness and she noticed that after sleeping on her back for a couple of weeks she didn't have the same darkness or the same puffiness under her eyes that she had before and she said she is never going back to sleeping on her side. I know that people have a hard time with it so I wanted to include a little video tutorial of how to do it so I'm just going to go through the steps that I took to start sleeping on my back. The first night that I tried to sleep on my back, I just laid flat on my back in my bed and it was so uncomfortable. My hips hurt, my back hurt, and I knew that I needed some kind of adjusting. So I started looking online and what worked for me was that I bought a sleeping wedge. So let me go ahead and bring in the video now, just demonstrating kind of the steps that I went through, how I positioned my body, what was comfortable for me. Of course, what's comfortable for me is not necessarily gonna be comfortable for everybody, but hopefully it, it will give you a good starting place. This is actually pulled from an older video of mine. This is from last summer. So so I got my wedge in my bed and then I stacked two pillows on top of it. So I have the pillow with the sham on the bottom and then the pillow with the pillowcase on the top. When I first started, I couldn't just lay on my back and go to sleep. It was very uncomfortable for me. I wasn't used to it. So I would have to do the half twist. So I would have to keep the lower half of my body turned as though I was going to be in the fetal position, but then I would keep my shoulders still back on the mattress. And that took me about like a month or two to get used to that. And then once I was ready to graduate from the half twist, then I would keep my hips flat on the mattress with one leg straight out in front of me, uh, make like a number four with the other leg, like a flying Peter Pan pose. And I would tuck my foot underneath my knee and that would keep my hip happy enough. The other thing I would do is tuck my hands under my butt or under my thigh and having my elbows out like that, it would kind of keep me from rolling. So I did much less rolling. And once I got that Peter Pan 
flying thing down for sleeping, then I was golden and it was all good from there. So this is my sleeping wedge. It comes with a removable cover that you can wash, but I did buy it this separate cover that's just easier to take off and easier to wash and goes better with my bedding. I have the uh, 10 inch wedge, so I'll link this below in the information box below the video. It's also in my Amazon shop, but this wedge is really what made all the difference for me, just having my head be elevated and sleeping in not quite a sitting up position, but just, you know, on a little bit of an incline. That just really kept my back and my hips so much more comfortable than laying flat on my back. As you saw in the video, I don't use the wedge by itself. I do stack a couple of pillows on top of it and that helps. So I'm sitting up pretty far, but I gotta say that during the night, sometimes, you know, I do like scooch down or slide down a little bit. So by morning, I'm not quite as elevated as I am when I first go to sleep, but that's my most comfortable position. And I just love it. Besides the chest wrinkle, the nasal labial folds, the under eye issues, and the hooded eyes. I also noticed that my shoulder never hurts when I wake up. You know, when you're a side sleeper, you wake up and you have that ugh, terrible shoulder ache sometimes. And so I never have that anymore. And when I slept on my side, my hips would ache during the night and I would just toss and turn from side to side. And I don't toss and turn as much. I get a much deeper sleep. I get a much more restful sleep. So it's really been great for me. And I love hearing the feedback from some of you guys that it has really worked and has been really great for you too. But a couple of other pillows that I wanted to recommend for you because I know some people the wedge wasn't enough. This is called Your Face Pillow. And it basically has these two bumps on the side and your head goes in here and it kind of keeps you from rolling over. So I put this on top of my wedge and it really worked very well. So I thought, oh, that's just great because it has this little neck support here and then your head's here and you're cradled. And when you try to turn, you bump into this guy over there and then it reminds you more subtly than turning all the way and then waking up so you don't have to go, you know, wake up out of your sleep to remember to stay on your back. So, and it's really nice and soft and comfy. I really like this one. And then another option is one of these giant full body pillows. This thing is ginormous. I actually bought this one for my daughter for Christmas because she was having surgery that was gonna force her to have to sleep on her back for at least a few weeks and she was nervous about it because she is a side sleeper and she's like, I don't know how I'm gonna stay on my back. So I picked this one up for her and can I tell you, she gave it a rave review. She absolutely loved the thing from day one. I gave it to her about a week before she had the surgery and she just used it every night starting from that night because she said it was so snugly and so comfortable and she just loved it. So you would put it behind your head and then you can drape these down along the sides and sleep like that and that will definitely help to keep you from tossing and turning because you've got all this pillow over here kind of supporting your sides and then you can either you know wrap it around the middle or you can wrap it underneath your knees like it's a giant overgrown C shape so there's enough that you can put it under your knees and behind your head so there's just a lot of different ways to use this but it really helped her with the sleeping on her back and she really loved it and I love it that it has this nice gray cover there was a few different color options for this so that's it for today's video everybody. It was just a shorty to put this information in one place where you could easily find it and access it. I hope that the detailed demonstration will be able to help you have success with sleeping on your back or maybe one of these other products will help you. I just want you to succeed at it because I've seen the benefits on my own skin, my chest, my face, my under eyes, my upper eyes. I mean everything. It's just so, so good and so, so free that it's just awesome and I want to share and I want everyone who wants to do it to be able to do it. So I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you watching. So have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.